It is such a privilege to be back on this stage tonight to hand over my valued and glittering tiara to the Northern Territory Telstra Businesswoman of the Year for 2014. I'd like to acknowledge the Larrakia people as the traditional owners of all the land and waters where we meet today. <laughs> Congratulations, Telstra. Congratulations for 20 years of awards. 20 years of celebrating the brilliance of women in business. 20 years of assisting us to develop our business potential, our leadership and our aspirations. And I will always treasure that I'll be part of the class of 2013. So, what did this year create to me, for me as the NT Telstra businesswoman? It was a very exciting year, new journeys, new goals and new experiences. I was involved in some important community events. I learned to abseil. I abseiled eight uh, levels of the Chinatown car park for NT Police for the campaign Harness Life, It's Time to Talk, a very worthy campaign to increase the awareness of suicide. I was the voice for International Women's Day, which is about celebrating the journeys of women, celebrating women's achievements across the world, across the ages. And this year, we also acknowledge the challenges of gender violence and health and education. I also saw the opening for the NT's the foundation of the prevention of violence against women and their children. And two weeks ago, I was one of 200 spirited women at the WOW Festival, Women of the World, where we sang, we danced, we celebrated, we shared our stories. The Women of the World's Festival is held in three places, London, New York, and our own arts and cultural centre in Catherine. Wow. <laughs> I also had some red carpet celebratory events. I was the guest of Claudia Schiffer's international eyewear launch in Munich. I was a guest of Nikon in Dubai. And a few weeks ago, I was very privileged to be on a panel for the International Vision Institute in Singapore. And our mission is to try and to develop some um, delivery of vision care in areas of the world that are who need it. Africa, Russia, the Middle East, China, India, and the Asia Pacific. And it's a real privilege being a Northern Territory businesswoman representing Australia at these international events. Now, on the coalface business front, we continue to expand our eight clinics across 1,500 square kilometres of the Northern Territory. Despite the changes in our political and the social arenas, and funding cuts, my practice continues to strive towards the global goals of Vision 2020 and the national goals of Close the Gap for Vision, which is simply about reducing preventable blindness by giving Indigenous and non-Indigenous people who live remotely access to vision care. And we also formalised a foundation where we can offer donated ready-made glasses and low-cost spectacle to these communities. So, whether it be down to Catherine or Willingling Homelands in Litchfield or over to Nolamboy or Kakadu or Lanapoi Homelands, the tourism slogan of where the heck are you is quite an apt call for my Fanny Bay family. <laughs> I'm also very proud to share with you a goal which I started telling you about on this stage last year. At that stage it was a vision. It was a challenging goal in progress. In April this year, I moved my practice from Fanny Bay to the Top End's newest precinct, or maybe Australia's, the Avenue. And I was very proud to open Australia's first Nikon concept practice. 
and it was opened officially last month by the Honourable Best Price. I'm very proud to be a Northern Territory small business owner, but it's an absolute honour that Nikon chose to open its flagship store, not in the bright lights of Sydney and Melbourne, but here in swinging downtown Salonica Street. Perhaps. <laughs> As many of you will know, to have a successful business, it's really like being on a roller coaster. The highs are high and we can always expect lows. Hurdles are detours on our maps, our road maps, to achieve our goals. And when we jump a hurdle or conquer a hurdle, let's look on our road back map and make sure we celebrate every milestone. This year, it was quite an honour to meet some remarkable Australian women. Dr Fiona Woods, OAM, Australian of the Year 2005. Fiona's passion is to improve the outcome for Burns patients. Fiona's passion is grounded in her need to overcome her hurdles of gender violence and her social standing. And her message is a very simple one. Don't be average. You will not achieve your potential. I met the Honourable Quentin Bryce, whose elegance and strength and clarity of thought is admirable. And through these awards, I met Ida Buckrose, another Australian of the Year, whose commitment to the community and whose strive for the equality of women since the very start of her career is just commendable. These ladies are all very successful. They've all had diverse careers but they all share the same common experience. You need to stay focused on your roadmap to achieve your goals and you need to face the hurdles that come ahead of you. These awards are very credible. These awards give women a voice. They raise our positions in leadership and give us opportunities for directorships and our strive towards equality. There has been 20 years of celebrating brilliance. There has been 20 years of nominating women to share their stories, to celebrate their achievements, and also to acknowledge their challenges. I congratulate every woman who was nominated in these awards, the 2014 awards. I congratulate all the finalists, and I wish every Australian businesswoman the courage to commit to her aspirations. Australian businesswomen can look forward to a very bright future and a very confident future but because Telstra is committed to the engagement of developing our own business potential and, our, and exceeding, helping us exceed our expectations. My message to Australian women in business Dream your dream. Establish your goals. Travel that road map to achieve your goals. Brace yourself for the hurdles. And maximise pleasure at every opportunity. I shall leave you with a line from the 80s. The future's so bright, I gotta wear shades. <laughs>